Hey guys and girls, how's it going? Hope you guys are having a great week. So I'm back today with a news video, guys. So I basically, I have apps on my phone that give me news video, like news reports all the time. And there was one news report that I read today that I just thought was ridiculous and really got me annoyed. And I kind of wanted to share it with you guys and sort of see what you guys thought. So as you all know, the PlayStation VR is kind of massive at the moment and it finally came out on the 13th of October. Well, the news report that I read today, um, which was on my phone, it was actually on Appy Gamer, and it was about game and one of the promotional things that gamers are doing at the moment. Now, for those of you that might not know, and perhaps you live in America or Canada, game is basically the UK's version of GameStop. So it's a massive, massive gaming store uh, that you can pre-order games, buy lots of things. And they're doing a massive promotion at the moment on uh, PlayStation VR. And I just kind of thought it was really ridiculous and sort of demonstrated how kind of greedy uh, game really are as a company. So what they're basically doing is they have demos of the PlayStation VR uh, at, in their stores where you can actually go in to try it out. Now most demos as you guys know are generally free for you to go in, check out, see what you think of the game and then if you like it obviously you can drop down a pre-order, you can buy it. Well actually game are actually charging people for the privilege of checking out the PlayStation VR. And these are the prices that they're basically offering. So if you want to check out and play the PlayStation VR for about 10 minutes, it's going to cost you about £5, which is about $7.50. Seven uh, if you want to play it for 20 minutes, you've got to knock down £10. And if you want to play it for 30 minutes to actually have a proper go on the, the PlayStation VR and all the games for 30 minutes, it's going to cost you £15 to do it. Now, there are a lot of rules that come with this. And I'm just going to go through the kinds of terms and conditions that people have to sort of sign and agree to it. Um, so basically, uh, if you want to uh, check out the PlayStation VR demo, there's a few things that you must do uh, whilst in the middle of it. So according to game, you must remain, and I'm going to go through these guys because they're a bit ridiculous, but I'm going to go through them to read them to you. So you must remain seated at all times and until the headset is removed. You must close your eyes and raise your hand if you become uncomfortable and want to stop the demo. Uh, you you must stop, you must remain calm and minimalize erratic head or limb movement or whatever that consists of. I, if you're playing a scary game, like if you're checking out the new Resident Evil, there is no way that you're going to be able to minimalize erratic head movement. It's just not going to happen. Um, so that's kind of ridiculous. Uh, you must stop moving immediately if game staff place a hand on your shoulder and you must not touch, remove or interfere with the headset or connected equipment except as directed by game staff. So you basically have to agree to all of these rules and obviously put down money for the privilege of checking out the PlayStation VR. Now, if you do then decide to put down a, a deposit on the actual, uh, like hardware itself, uh, that price, the £10, £15, whatever you paid on it, it will be deducted from your deposit price. You can actually check out the PlayStation VR for free if you have already put down a deposit, but you need to show proof of that in the form of a receipt. Uh, and Gamer are actually charging £350 uh, for the PlayStation VR. Now, I've gone on the website and uh, the, the PlayStation VR is completely sold out. It's out of stock everywhere. So obviously this is kind of a ploy uh, by game to sort of get people to reserve uh, the PlayStation VR and perhaps have an idea of the demand and stock that they're going to need, especially going into the Christmas season. So what are my thoughts on it? Well, I I'm trying to understand why game have decided that it's okay to charge just to check out a demo. Maybe there is such a massive demand uh, for the PlayStation VR because it's sold out there's such a huge demand they're trying to organize it or put off people uh, wanting to check out the PlayStation VR by charging them money to do it so you know if if you're willing to pay uh, to check out that that demo then you know then obviously um 
they're trying to make sure that it's only really, really serious people that are definitely going to get it that obviously want to check it out. It might be a case of maybe they're not selling as, as many versions as they would like. And maybe this is a way to sort of get people interested uh, in, in checking out by paying five, 10, 15 pound just to check it out to see if it's something that they want to do. But as a tactic, I think it's really disgusting. And and I have never been a massive, massive fan of game, to be honest. I think that game over overprice their games. Um, for many of you that might not know, actually, when I was in university, I actually did work part-time in a game store. Um, in game, actually. I was one of the only female members of staff there. Um, and I basically worked on the sales floor and had to sort of try to promote and sell like console bundles and games and that kind of thing. So I do know how hard it is uh, for those members of staff that do sell at game that they are under an immense amount of pressure from management to hit certain quotas so I totally get that and I have nothing against the staff because the staff are just following company uh, procedure company protocol but I I am absolutely furious with the management at game and the people making these decisions because I think it's absolutely disgusting to charge people money just to check out a demo. Now, if it was like five pound for 30 minutes, that is reasonable, okay? A five of 30 minutes, that's totally reasonable. But 15 pound for 30 minutes, that's like paying the price of a cinema ticket, which is usually a two hour long movie or entertainment to check out a demo and probably about 10 minutes of that are going to be the game staff giving you instructions and getting familiar with the headset and everything. There is no way that you can properly check out the PlayStation VR in 10 minutes. You cannot play all the demos that you want to play in a 10 minute window. So you will have to fork out 15 quid just to check out a demo. I think it's ridiculous. I think it is another money-making scheme on the part of game. It's just greedy corporate like suits wanting money and getting money any way they can by screwing over gamers again. It's all these shady tactics that we have with, with season passes and overpriced DLC and a missing content. And now you have to actually pay to play a demo in a game store where the games are overpriced anyway um and not really worth value now maybe it's maybe it's because the company itself is not doing very well maybe a lot of people are not buying their games in the physical store maybe they are buying them online like i myself actually buy most of my games at game collection or simply games because those two websites are actually really really reasonably priced and really cheap and that means i can buy more games for my money and especially given the fact that my money is incredibly tight um especially it will be over the next five years with me getting a mortgage and buying a house and everything i have to think very very carefully about how i spend my money and which games i I want to buy and there is no way in hell that I am throwing down 15 pound just to check out the PlayStation VR. Yes, I'm interested in the PlayStation VR. Yes, I want to check it out, but you shouldn't be charging for the privilege of trying it. You should let people try it for free and then if they really enjoy it they will put down a deposit they will reserve a copy of that hardware it is unfair for you to charge them just to check out the demo and I think it's ridiculous. So that's the news I heard today, guys. I read it on my phone while I was on my lunch break and I was like, oh my God, this is ridiculous. I need to make a video on this. I want to share this with you guys. I want to find out what you guys think of this. What is your opinion on this news video? Let me know in the comment section below. Are you as disgusted as I am? Uh, let me know in the comment section below. Of course, guys, if you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button as always to show your support. All right, guys and girls. Well, I will be back later this week with more videos and uh, I have a, a new video series lined up for you guys. So I will be sort of recording that today and uh, hopefully editing and getting that out to you guys. But anyway, if you guys have supported my channel, thank you so much for supporting me. I really, really appreciate it. Hope you guys have a great week. Take care and as always, happy gaming. Yeah.